Hey guys, this is Jamrin with API 5 part series. In this tutorial, if user selects the given list items, then he should be presented with another page. At that time, you can edit that given page and then update the given APIs. So, at first, we'll be creating a details page where you will be navigated to whenever the list item gets selected. So, we'll be creating a new page like account details page as our content page and from here that is from our list view item selected if any item is tapped then the user should be navigated to our account details page then we are going to send the list tabbed id along with username as well as passport to the account details page so this my selected item after the list item gets tabbed will contain all the username password as well as id of the given specified user and then now we are going to send it to given account details page so this is the way to send the given user id along with username as well as password to the given account details page so it needs our id as well as our password as well as our username so that we could send all those details to the given account details page now we need same username as well as password entry fields inside our account details page so that the user can update the given apis with the help of entry fields so i'll be giving entry name as my username and then entry password name as my password at first it should contain the previous username that's why i will be, i'll be passing previous username as well as password that needs to be updated from the given entry field so our my username as well as my password will contain the previous username as well as password and now we are going to store our id whenever the user is going to update the given api so let's use some breakpoint here our entry field should contain the previous username as well as password so we, if we press f10 we'll pass through the given breakpoints and get to know about username and password inside our entry field now our next objective is to change the content inside the given entry field and then update it with the help of update button so this is my click event handler now we are going to take same id that we have stored inside our application.current.properties id so that same id is going to be passed while we are going to update our api so we need integer value for updating the given api now same like as before we'll copy that account as well as url and then paste it inside our details page here we are going to send our updated username as well as password that was entered from the given entry field with same id here id shouldn't be changed that's why the username that was changed inside our entry field along with password that was changed should be sent through the given api so we'll get the post condition from our new account page.jaml.cs and then paste it inside our account detail page.jaml.cs as we have already discussed before in our post request is like we are going to serialize my accounts and then send the body along with the given url using put method that is in order to update the given url we are going to use put asynchronously and we are going to pass url slash body that is same like before but from the given url we should send id along with this body so same as like in order to update that we'll get the given url you can see over here this is the url same url we should send along with that a slash should be there here we can place slash but in order to make it more compatible we'll place slash over here and then if i is the id then body is going to be sent as an serialized item this is the serialized item that we are going to send it through the given body along with url and then id 
so we'll press some breakpoint so that we can know i will fast forward this tutorial so that we could save some time if you select on second option with id3 that is you can see over here this is my second option with id3 here i am getting previous username as well as password inside our entry field if we change it and then click on update we get our updated entry username password along with the same id that is passed from the given update button clicked now our next objective is to serialize the given my accounts containing username as well as password and then send it through the url using put asynchronous method and then if that result is like no content then we will get response as success status code if you go back then our api must has been updated that's all from the given postman also you can see our api has been updated for a given id3 in our api side too if you want to change employee with id3 with certain name like anything you may like from api changed and then from api changed for the given password with id3 and if you send it from the given api you will get no content and if you get that response then it should be changed along with that it should be changed inside your mobile application too so that's all for this tutorial now in our next tutorial we'll be deleting our list items